There is something common between you and me. As a human being, we tend to save for future or for uncertain times. And if you are an Indian, then I am sure you or your close relative or friends would have definitely invested in LIC of India. Now, if you are investing, did you ever wonder at what rate LIC of India pays you? Wait, is there any yardstick as such that measures your investment, be it LIC or some other investment? Ladies and gentlemen, in this video, we are going to analyze few of the LIC's plans with the help of IRR function of Microsoft Excel. IRR, that is internal rate of return, is a wonderful and powerful function that allows you to check whether your investment is what or not. If you are ready, let me take you to the spreadsheet and start learning this function. Okay, friends, here I have uh, listed uh, the cash flow. Say, for example, you started investing this year, that is 2020, and uh, you have taken the plan called 914 endowment plan, and your age is 30, and the purchase price or s coverage amount or sum assured is 10 lakhs and the premium paying term is 15 years that means you have to pay for 15 years and your term is also of 15 years so if this this is the scenario then you have to pay 71133 in the first year as a premium then next year onwards you will be paying 69602 for another 14 years that is until 2034 and finally in 2035 you will get a lump sum amount of 15 lakhs 90 thousand rupees okay so if this is the scenario what is the IRR that is internal rate of return on this investment so let us see with the help of IRR function so I have already set it up so all I have to do is type IRR function that is equal to IRR as soon as I type IRR it the function pops up so I am going to select my range which is there in B8 to B23 that means including what you have paid and what they have paid back to you so I need to select the range which is B8 to B23 and I will close the bracket and enter so I get 5.07 but one thing to keep in mind one thing very very important is whatever you pay from your pocket should be in negative so if you are paying 71133 rupees it has to be entered in negative because it is it is like the money is going out of your pocket right so whatever comes to your pocket is in positive okay whatever whatever investment whatever return you get back should be entered as positive number normal number but whatever you pay to the in, uh, pay to the investment tool and whatever you pay th from your pocket should be entered as negative not only one each and every numbers you have to set the number that way so it's very easily you can calculate the IRR of any financial tool okay let us see one more example uh, here also same LIC but the plan is different it's 920 money back that means as the name suggests you get back the money every five years Okay. You started investment in the year 2020 and 2025 you got some amount in 2030 again you got some amount in 2035 again you got some amount and at the end of the term you get some amount. So let us see how much IRR it turns out to be. So here at the top I have all the details plan is 920 money back age of customer is same 30 years and purchase price is 10 lakhs here also and premium paying term is 15 years and term is 20. Why, why there is a difference between premium paying term and term because this is how the LIC allows because in this particular plan you have to pay only for 15 years but your coverage remains for 20 years. So in the year 2020 you are paying 79,125 and in, in the next year onwards you are paying 77,422 and as I said whatever you are paying should be in negative so everything is entered as negative as you can see here. and. So here I have uh, made it slightly differently because to make it easier to understand return is in separate column and the cash flow is again separate column 
and return I have uh, for every 5 years I have entered 2 lakhs here and that is what uh, they promised to pay and the cash flow is nothing but sum of these two 79,000 plus blank is 79,125 and here if you see this this particular row here 77,422 that is negative 77,422 plus 2 lakhs is 1,22,578. In other words this number is subtracted from this number because since it is negative when you add it gets subtracted right. So, same way every 5 years since you are paying this much and you are getting back this much. So, ultimately net payment net payment you are receiving is this much because out of this much you have got you would have already paid this much right. So, your net payment is this much for money back plan. If you do not want to use this return column you, you can add this number here itself and at the end of the term that is in 2040 we are going to get 12 lakh 20 thousand whenever you are not paying or whenever the investment is also not paying that means you have to enter simply 0 that means you did not I did not enter anything here and when I add it came as 0. So, you can see here I will delete and recalculate IRR open bracket now all I have to do is enter the range which is G82 G28 close the bracket and enter this is 4.86 money back gives you 4.86 of IRR here we were getting 5.07 and let us see one more the plan is G1 love 936 table number and age of customer is 30 purchase price is 10 lakh same amount ok premium paying term 16 and term is 25 this is how it is if you choose premium paying term of 16 years then your term becomes 25 by default I did not make any changes this is how the LIC has set up. As you can see here in 2020 you have to pay 47,514 and from next year onwards that is 2021 to 2035 for the for for 15 years you have to pay 46,491 each year and for the next 9 years there is no payment from either side that means you are not going to get anything and you are not paying also ok. So, 2036 to 2044 for the 9 years there is no payment. So, you have to just enter as 0 and at the end of 25th year that is in the year 2045 you are going to get 27 lakhs or lump sum amount and the IRR turns out to be 7.31 let us calculate whether it is correct or not equal to IRR including the return and the payment I have to select the range is J8 to J33 and all I have to do is press enter which gives me 7.31. Is it a good investment ok ok or is it not so good let us see let us compare it with very renowned investment which is PPF that is public provident fund. So, let us see the rate of interest rate of interest of PPF yes this is 7.1 currently in September 2020 at the time of recording of this video the interest rate of PPF is 7.1 7.10 percent is. So, is it better than PPF? Yes, this particular plan is better than PPF and obviously there is insurance also ok and we which we are not going to discuss here. So, the purpose of this video was to show you how much IRR you get in few of the LIC plans and we discussed 914. 920 money back and this is endowment plan and this is 920 plan and this is also an endowment plan ok this is how you calculate IRR IRR is really powerful function where which gives you an idea whether you should invest in certain investment tool or not if you are an advisor like a life insurance advisor be it LIC or some of the private ones this video would be really useful for you because whenever client ask you like how much IRR I would get then you can calculate this way and show it to the client and if you are wondering where did I get this data from then I got this data from an app called leader which you can find in play store. Alright friends I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, you found it something useful today that is the case please share with your friends and family members thank you have a great day.